Welcome my foodie friends of the interwebs. Today, I got chopsticks. <laughs> I got me some chopsticks. Okay, so Panda Express. Now this is actually, I'll be honest with you, this is a do-over. Uh, the, the first video I did on this, which I may upload someday when I have more privileges, um, was just too long. You, you can only upload videos, I think 15 minutes, anything over that. I think the last video, or the first Panda Express video that I did was like, a couple minutes over, which is too long anyway. So I'm doing this again. So with a few changes, I, I am duplicating what I originally got from Panda Express um, when I made that video that you may or may not see someday. Uh, it's beef broccoli. But I want to tell a little story first. I went in there and I'm like, hey, I, you know, I need something low carb to no carb. I want no rice. I want no noodles. And uh, they generally seem to care about my... Uh, health concerns. <laughs> I mean, I wish that wasn't the case. I would have loved to have had some egg rolls. I, and I love rice like no other. But today I'm trying to cut down on the carbs. So beef broccoli. Let's check it out. Um, I won't tell you what I originally thought of it. So this is kind of a do-over. I will say this. I don't know what the story is, but this was eight bucks for beef broccoli. Eight bucks. When I came here the first time, uh, it was 10 bucks, but the container was a large. It was much bigger than this. So I don't know. Anyway, $8. I <laughs> can't help it. $8. Let's go. Hmm. Actually, to be honest with you, I think this is actually better than the last time I was here, flavor-wise. And they had told me the last time that it was fresh. That they had just made it. So maybe the key is going to sit around a little while. I don't know. Hmm. Beef broccoli. I think the pieces of beef might be a little better. And there's more of it this time around. Having said that, their beef is cut pretty thin for this. I mean, it's paper thin. You're not going. You're not going to get big. If you're look, if you're looking for a beef, you're not going to get. And this really is just beef and broccoli and a brown sauce. That's it. Um. Which, to be honest with you, I kind of like. You know, sometimes you get beef broccoli, they throw all kinds of stuff in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, the last time I got this, I could, literally, I could not wait to put soy sauce on it because it just didn't have enough flavor. But this one's right. I don't, I don't, I mean... I avoid soy sauce if I can, although I love soy sauce, but it's like anything else. It's not healthy for you. And the light soy sauce is even worse from what I hear. But now and again, you got to have some. But this one's done, this one's done correctly. This is good. This is really good. Once again, I wish I would have brought, you didn't hear this from the last video, but I wish I would have brought my jar of kimchi. Because that would pair nicely with this. Mm -hmm. uh. Other than, in my opinion, to being way too expensive because eight bucks for this little container of beef and broccoli. It's not a big container, it's a small container. I think it's a little much. The funny thing is, when I got the large the last time, I paid 10, and I remember thinking to myself, and it's a lot of food, but 10 bucks is, you know, I think that was a better deal. Now, maybe the mediums are eight, because they she said this was a medium box, and the um, the larges are 10. But if that's the case, I swear to you, the large one was twice the size. So for two more bucks, you get twice the food. I ate that for two days. It was even better when I went home because I went to uh, that jar of kimchi <laughs> with a quickness. Mm, mm, mm. The bro the broccoli's really well. I mean, even the last one that I got, the broccoli was um it was good. It was 
it was al dente, which you know Asian uh, broccoli stir fries tend to be. Um, but it wasn't so al dente that it was raw, raw tasting, because you know what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if Panda Express has coupons or not. I should have asked, but I didn't. Hopefully, they do. Because, like I said, I eat a little pricey. Now, having said that, let me expound on that a little bit. You go to McDonald's, you get a value meal, you're going to pay over $8, and you're going to get, in my opinion, a lesser quality experience. Um, you're going to get true fast food. You're going to get, you know, what we all know and sadly love. But this... This just tastes fresh. It tastes, you know what it tastes like? It tastes healthy. Uh-huh. Now, my experience with Panda Express is very limited. But I will say this. If you go to Panda Express, you got to look at all their offerings and make sure that you get something that looks like it was reasonably done not all that long ago. Because their food will sit in warmers. I mean, it will sit there for a long time. I've seen some stuff that looked like it was it was just dried out and stuff. You, gotta, you just got to be careful. So, I'm going to take the rest of that home. So, let me sum it up. Let me sum it up. Oh, and by the way, I got to be honest with you. I'm just going to tell you the way it is. This particular experience, customer service-wise, it wasn't as good as previously. They've got, well, they're like anybody else. They got people that, some of them have no work experience, um... And, and they're young, and it's fine, whatever. It takes time to become good at this stuff. And this is a bad time of the year. People are grouchy, you know, who knows? I don't know. Um, the customer service wasn't horrible, <clears throat> to be honest with you. Um, it was better than the last time. But having said that, the young lady that was serving me, she couldn't answer because initially I'm like, look, I'm, di you know, I'm diabetic. I need no carbs. I need no right. What do you recommend? And she just handed me a menu. And I'm like, I'm looking for your professional recommendations on what you have here. Because the menu didn't have carb counts or anything like that. It had calories, but no carb counts. Um, and she did go and ask her boss, who was an Asian stir-fry chef. I'm assuming he was the boss. He looked like he was in charge. And um, and then, yeah, and he actually came out from behind the, the, the cooking uh, um, uh station and uh, said to me the brown sauces have the less ha have the less amount of sugar da, 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 da. anyway I, these aren't real high these this is not real high in sugar I can tell you know when you're diabetic you can tell something jets up your sugar something doesn't whatever um anyway that's all I got for you guys go get you some and express <laughs>